I would be doing you all a disservice if I did not stop by key metrics before the end of this call, because in my mind, when it comes to analytics, the, the high level metrics of visits and page views and things really are not all that helpful without additional context. And thinking of analytics from a goal oriented standpoint is the best way to go about things. So thinking about the outcomes that you're looking for, why do you have a website? What do you want it to do? And what should it be supporting for your organization are all things to think about and then build measurements around. So a lot of times with higher ed, sites exist for the purpose of driving student enrollment, uh, getting donations from alumni, uh, sharing research that you often get grants and funding for. These are things that we have a site for. And then we talk about ways to measure those things. So I can see here that we have a lot set up from a key metric standpoint. I haven't looked at this, I'm just curious to see if we've, we haven't bucketed them yet, but key metrics are the signals that we use to measure success. And then key performance indicators are like bundles of those signals. So from the standpoint of one of your key performance indicators being uh, student, new student enrollment, that might be an overall goal that you're trying to achieve. We could group together things like admissions contacts, uh, enrollment deposit checks, uh, people that are applying into a group called admissions. And then we are able to see from a high level how these metrics are trending. And if we're starting to see something that looks like a deviation from the norm, we can dig into each specific metric. So for example, um, admissions contacts, I can open this up. I can see how things are trending this month. I can see the days these things have happened so that if it happens to coincide with say a campaign that you've run or an ad that you've purchased on Google, you'd be able to get more information about how well that's going and then information about where those successful conversions are coming from. So something to take a look at, I would say as early as possible, I know that sometimes these conversations are uh, ones that you haven't had before. A lot of times we haven't thought about our websites this way. We think of a site as something that we need to have because everyone has a website, but the reality is they're very expensive and very time consuming to maintain and develop. So we wanna say uh, how well that's going, and use these signals to evaluate that. So you do have a hundred per site that may be something to have at a team level, but if you're looking at a page by page basis, you'll probably be able to get the same insights as you would here just by searching for your pages and then using what you know about your content and the outcomes that you're looking for in order to gauge success. And if you guys, had these conversations in the past about, you know, high level goals for the site and then individual success metrics, or is this something kind of new? This is something that now we have the capability and are starting to have those conversations. So we are looking to fill all hundred metric spots by the end of this year. Excellent. And it'd be, I mean, I could have a training on this specifically for an entire hour. And for that reason, we've actually added a training section right into the platform. For those of you that are visual learners, we have videos that explain each major component of key metrics, how to get started, what they are, how to set them up. And then for you, we actually have one for higher ed in the, uh, the example documents here. This is an exercise that I recommend all teams go through. It's kind of a matrix exercise whereby you explain or you know, agree upon what your reasons for having a website are. And then you kind of work to build out the metrics that measure and support those reasons underneath it. And this is a really good, you know, whiteboarding activity that you can kind of come together and discuss and put together an outline on and then come back into the platform to apply it.